Now, let's go ahead over the first week waiver wire. Now, my number one guy that I have to say is gonna be Malcolm Brown. I'm gonna put him on top. The reason I think he should be on top is because out of all the other running backs we're gonna talk about on waiver wire is right now, Akers hasn't shown that he's gonna be the top guy. With Malcolm being the red zone uh, threat and getting all the red zone touches pretty much, he's gonna be the one to get those touchdowns for the Rams, and not to mention his carry count was about the same as Akers, so you're gonna get more touchdown dependence there. The next guy on the list I would say that I would want to get next is going to be Snell. With Connor having some injury, it could be short term, but Snell put up 100 yards uh, in Monday night's game, and he did. He looked pretty good. Talks all camp were saying that he, he looked really good even before this. I was actually thinking about drafting him. Luckily, I picked him up before going into the Steelers game. You always should do that if you're ever going into a Monday night matchup. You got somebody on your bench. You think, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and back, add the backup running back in case you know something happens, and this just happened to pay off this way. Now, Hines for the Colts, he looks like he could be a good, good add as well. Uh, I, would, I would try to get him still, but I really think uh, Taylor is going to take over that lead role there. I think he's going to be a dominant rookie uh, the rest of the year. Uh, the Colts have a great, excellent offensive line, so I think he's definitely going to be someone that's going to be in the way of uh, being a better pickup than the two previous guys that I talked about. Okay, the guy that I think is going to be pretty good, and I don't think Echo is going to lose his spot, but I think Kelly would be the next best pickup. He has a chance to actually be put into the role. And if anything happens to Eckler, he looks like he could be a running back stud for you. If you guys are hurting for a tight end, I would definitely say that Thomas for the Washington Redskins looked really good. Um, I would try to maybe pick him up if you're desperate for a tight end. It looked like A.J. Brown was ailing tonight, but I still don't think I could pick up Corey Davis. I've been burned so much by him in the past. I would kind of pass on him. If anything, I would go MVS from the Packers. Uh, you know, Scantley, he is actually someone that's in a better passing offense. And it looks like after the first game, Rodgers looks like he actually might be his old self again. And I wouldn't mind buying back in to that Packers offense. Now, I've never been a fan of this guy, but Robbie Anderson for the Carolina Panthers, if you need a wide receiver, he looked like he was going to be the number two now for the Panthers. And Teddy Bridgewater, I think, is going to be actually be a decent quarterback this year. So if you're desperate for wide receiver, Robbie Anderson might be your chance to get a good wide receiver number two. Now, if you guys need a defense, I don't think for next week because they're facing Arizona, and I actually really like Arizona's offense. But the following week, they face Cleveland. The Washington football team actually looks really good. So as a defense, maybe pick them up for the following week if you can because Cleveland's not looking too hot. That's it for my waiver wire pickups. If you guys like the video, hit the like button or comment down below if I missed anybody, and I'll see you in the next huddle. Ready, break!